Ireland in general is my place that I feel most connected to. The wave itself was about, I don't know, 15 foot. Still a big wave, but not like giant. The wind got under the board and I ended up skipping out and face planted and then got sucked over the falls and it just pinned me down there and it didn't want to let me up. I panicked and I couldn't pull my vest, my inflation vest or anything because I was stunned when I hit the water. I just was like floating. Really humbling and really scary experience. It took me a long time to let go of. I definitely spent more time after that wipeout focusing on what I wanted to do and what I didn't want to do and that's what I've done since then. It's basically just pick your days and looking at what nature's gifting you. You know, if it's the right moment, you know it. From my experience, every time it's a tow session, there's always paddle waves and there always will be, no matter how big it is. I just wanted to go there and see it and it definitely looked pretty big and wild in the morning and, but it wasn't too big and I paddled it bigger so I was feeling pretty confident and I felt really relaxed. I didn't really have any expectations, I was just surfing. Usually I kind of sit out there for like an hour and don't catch a wave and then just focus on this one bomb that I want to catch and then more often than not I don't really get anything too good. For some reason I ended up getting this epic one just in the midst of it. It is rolling the dice every time you take off because you don't know what you're going to get. It was a lot of energy in that wave. It kind of just breathed me in. Usually that's the last of it. You just kind of end up getting smashed, but I started just riding like, it felt like there was, there was a few moments where I was just on the phone ball, like jumping around and there was these boils and I was looking out and it was just, I didn't have to, th it's not a think, you don't think about anything. You're just feeling it and you're just in it. And then <laughs> the next thing you know, I was just out on the channel. I didn't even see or hear anyone. I just fell into the water head first and just sank into the sea. 